A bit of a wild card in the Mar-a-Lago raid story. We knew that a special master was apparently coming, although there could be an appeal. Uh, the Trump campaign has put forward their preferred special master. And you know who okayed it? The DOJ. The Justice Department apparently filed court papers just yesterday saying, no, the one Trump picked, we're okay with that. And I find that fascinating. Now let's dive into it. We can talk a little bit about what we know about this individual and figure out where the, whether this is a good or a bad move on the part of the DOJ. So first of all, he, this person is not the special master yet. Judge Eileen Cannon will have to approve Raymond Deary, but bear in mind, Raymond Deary was chosen by Trump and Eileen Cannon is just there to do whatever Trump wants. So I assume she'll be okay with it. Anyway, Deary is a 78 year old, so young for DC. Uh, still serves as a judge in Brooklyn federal court, albeit on senior status, which means he can take a reduced caseload if he chooses. Hey, respect the hustle. He was the U.S. attorney in Brooklyn back in the 1980s, a time when the office's workload was dominated by the pursuit of mobsters, gang leaders, and financial fraudsters, which topically seems relevant to this. Deary was nominated to the federal bench by Ronald Reagan, became one of, this is according to the Washington Post, most highly regarded jurists in the Eastern District of New York, previously served on the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, which oversees sensitive national security cases. All of this seems very relevant to the case at hand. That is to say nothing about what his stance on these things is. Having served on the FISA court is one thing having a stance that's pro or against like un, unrestrained government, uh, like executive power, I think is more relevant. I don't know at this point. I did some research. We couldn't find out that much detailed information about him. And so, Dan, I'm curious what you think. The fact that the Trump campaign would choose a guy and the DOJ would give a thumbs up to it, what can we draw from that? We can draw that this is one of the unfortunate consequences of the real deep state, the thing that Trump and Republicans have tried to actually install, whether it's federal judges and um, court appointed appointees across the board from different districts across the country to their plan to basically have a um, switch, so to speak, should a Republican reach the executive branch in 2024 or later, where they're just able to mass fire a bunch of federal employees. There are all these different things they're trying to put in place so that Basically, they get to even more so than, you know, laws, essentially an extension of the white supremacist and male supremacist power structures in American society. It is an extension of further entrenching that for Republicans so that they can say, oh, well, we went to a court run by us and put together a law run by us or like a legal precedent run by us. And we are going to approve that because it's in our interest. I mean, you already see this with legislation. You saw that um, Joe Manchin had a lobbyist for the um, like oil and gas industry essentially writing parts of his legislation. So we, yeah. um, we've all we knows about we all know about Alec, the uh, American Legislative Exchange Council, how they pass um ideal legislation or draft legislation onto uh, people who are in Congress. And then the people in Congress are so lazy that they even just leave the letterhead on there as they're trying to pass it underneath um, closed doors in Congress into different bills that try to make it into law. So we know Republicans operate like this. This just shows that they're going to do whatever they can to avoid accountability. And this is the stuff that we need to be on watch for. I'm glad Joe Biden called it out for it. But you, I, progressives have been talking about this uh, since Trump immediately got in office. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I think it's a great point um, and overall great reasons to be suspicious going forward, not, not just about this, but also obviously be on guard for what a second Trump term would look like. I feel like he is going to be, I think, even more focused on prioritizing loyalty in the people he chose. I think that that was always there, but I think he'll be a little bit more uh, cautious about that in this case. And also they definitely have a more, I mean, they're, they're making it super explicit that their focus is going to be uh, destroying any potential checks inside of the government. Um, you know, and if they had prioritized that in his first term, then January 6th, then the, the run up to the inauguration could have gone very differently. And that they had apparently not prioritized that enough. In this case, it now falls to Cannon to decide whether Deary should be the special master. She also has to look into some of the specifics, like who's going to pay for the special master. I don't really care about that. Um, mm -hmm. And whether the review will include an examination of classified documents and whether to lift, at least temporarily, 
the judge's prior restriction barring the FBI from using those documents in its ongoing investigation. Let me just save you a bit of time there. She's not going to reverse her own decision that slows down the investigation. There is no chance of that. Some people are speculating that she will deny this choice of special master to draw it out. That feels needlessly, that feels too ridiculous to me. I mean, Trump's team chose this person. They seem, at least at first glance, to be well qualified. I have no idea about ideological predispositions that might influence what they would do. And the very idea that you would need a special master at all in this case is ridiculous. He definitely broke the law. We already know that. The only question, I guess, and I guess it's an interesting one, is how many dozens of times did he break the law? I think that I would love to know that, Dan. But other than that, I feel like a lot of this is largely a waste of time. And the other question, no, I think the other question that is still out there is how far, I mean, part of the morbid fascination I, I got from covering the Trump administration was how far he was actually able to get with a lot of these things. He should have been able to achieve uh, wrecking democracy, causing chaos within our um, federal branches as well as he did. But it's a testament to how little accountability it's appearing that our government's able to give to him because we know no, never mind like all the laws it's looking like he's broken or attempted to break all the precedent he doesn't care about how steadfast he always is with things like we know for a fact that he tries to tamper with investigations yep. he tries to install people who are loyal to him so on on the basis, wouldn't you try to make it so there isn't even the appearance of corruption? But no, just go, hey, I, I want to have a special master, a thing that I kind of just like pulled out of thin air that has no – doesn't have, even need to have a precedent in this case to begin with. And um, I want this person to be able to look over the case and make a decision – on make key decisions on it. And uh, this person is going to be my guy. And the government goes, all right, bet. That makes sense. You, you don't let the criminals choose uh, the opposite uh, sides, members of their legal team. That doesn't make sense, even in like a cartoon, let alone a movie, let alone whatever we're yeah. calling American politics these days. You're 100 percent right. And and as we proceed, assuming that the guy gets confirmed, assuming that he does the work or whatever, and it, it is it isn't drawn out for two years, like for all we know, he'll put a, a put, he'll put out a bill bar letter, you know, lying about what was in it or something. And and at that point, we might forget about this particular story. But this is laying the groundwork for everything else that happens here, at least the next few steps of it. So an important story, it might seem inside baseball, I don't know, um, but it is obviously significant.